waited for the three of us to arrive, and then once they left, we became Expedition 23. And like all good space stories, you have to start with a rocket. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a story, but this is a space story. And so this is December 19th in Kazakhstan. And as you can imagine, in Kazakhstan, on the steps, December 19th, it is extremely frigid and cold. And the family and friends that accompanied us there keep remarking just about how cold they were. As you can see, it's a multinational crew. We had a Japanese flight engineer, a Russian Soyuz commander, and me. And we go through the typical press release uh, interviews and stuff, and I get asked here, what am I going to miss most? And I ended up saying, bubbly water. You can't, you can't have bubbles in space, you know? So, <laughs> there's a tradition that on the day that you launch, you sign the door of the room that you were living in, down in Kazakhstan. And here is Soichi signing his door, and then he does something remarkable. He draws his flag. So here I go, I'm signing my door, and I'm going, do I need to draw my flag? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So we walk on out to the commission, and we report that we're finally trained and ready to go. In these well-tailored suits. <coughs> and we get out to the launch pad, and we're in specific order, and Ollie's ready to go. He goes, up, up, come on, up, up, go. And as good, dutiful crewmates, we turn around and wave some more. <laughs> So now we sit for about three hours in this tiny little capsule. Put three grown men who wear extra large shirts into your bathtub, and that's how much room we have. And so we sit and we wait. And the, and the family members are outside, standing and waiting and getting colder. This is December 21st. And what you're about to see is just how cold it was. Maybe if the lights are dim enough, you can see. We got rain and sleet and snow. And we're going to launch anyway. <clears throat> and when I asked my kids what they remember most about the visit to Russia and Kazakhstan, they both say that the launch was spectacular, although it was really cold. <clears throat> so it takes us about two and a half days to, to race and track down the space station. And after the two and a half days in this tiny little vehicle when you approach the station and Max and Jeff are on board taking these pictures. And then for the Soyuz, of course, we've got a primary and a backup system and then, of course, a manual way to, to rendezvous. And for us, we were very fortunate. All the systems worked as advertised and so we were able to sit there and, and monitor the approach. And this is the view that you get when you're sitting in the commander seat. And then Jeff and Max are taking these pictures again of our approach. So not too bad when you consider it. Two and a half days later, we get to the point where we're accurate enough to be able to dock the space station. And this is real time. This is how slowly we come together for sure um, in, in reality. <clears throat> And the docking is complete. And we're, we are now arriving on December 23rd. And Max is going to open up our hatch here for us. And of course, since it's December 23rd, we have to come prepared for Christmas. <laughs> and here comes Santa Claus Soichi. <laughs> And he was very popular because in that knapsack that he has is all the fresh food for Max and Jeff. <coughs> and shortly after Suichi comes Santa Claus's happy elf. <laughs> and almost immediately after arrival, the first thing we do is we end up having a press conference. And one of the nice things is you get to talk to the families that are in Moscow and they were at the control center for the rendezvous. So we're having our, our initial press conference, and then shortly thereafter we have a second press conference, and Max is going to show you what microgravity looks like. And I think we should all go to work like this.
Now, for those of you who wonder about space aliens, you can see the shadows moving on the uh, background there. And uh, to dispel any rumors, that's really not space aliens, but Max and Oleg had to go outside to do a spacewalk in order to prepare for the arrival of a Russian module later on in their increment. And so they're doing the cabling and the hosing and they're doing, setting out some external experiments for that spacewalk. Back in the Russian half of the station, we were monitoring an incoming progress resupply vehicle. And if everything goes well, again, it's just monitoring. It's an automatic docking. This progress arrived nicely. We had a second progress in our mission, which was slightly exciting. And it didn't behave nicely. Jeff Williams and I are doing a commercial spot for a show called Dancing with the Stars. Buzz Aldrin was competing on Dancing with the Stars, and I mentioned here He's original moonwalker, but can he still do this maneuver? <laughs> every day, our goal is to do science experiments and utilization. And every day, we have to work on logistics. And this bag here is a bag that, of course, has something in it of an import. But most of the time, most of the overhead in the day is dealing with logistics. And here, I lost... I lost my footing, and I just didn't really care because you can't fall down into space. So I just continued to rotate and work on whatever it was I was working on. <laughs> Science experiments, like how to better grow plants. Max was working on growing lettuce and wheat. This is not only for possible duration of missions that go farther away, like to Mars, but also how to improve what's being grown here on Earth as well. Soichi is practicing his zero-g swimming, because later we have to do synchronized swimming. <laughs> you put two helicopter pilots together, what do you get? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing what's called Saturday Morning Science, and we're doing a bit of an outreach to schools and talking about conservation of angular momentum, and this is the familiar ice skating problem <laughs> done with a zero-g twist. <laughs> well, it's come time now for Max and Jeff to depart, and so we have to say goodbye and do a change of command. And anytime you do hatch closings or hatch openings, you have to do hugs and kisses. And it's because of this video that I finally understood why I found my camera in the next module over. So Max and Jeff are in their Soyuz. Oleg is going to assist them in closing the, the Soyuz hatch. <laughs>